of. <laughs> Definitely don't spank its behind. Oh, headbutt! G'day, it's Anne here, and here at ABC Science, we ask you to suggest the next animal for the How Deadly video series, and we heard you loud and clear. Let's do wombats! <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, don't you there? I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's do this. Wombats. Um. <laughs> oh, that looks like one of the... <laughs> Wasn't me. Jeez. Oh, boy. This is your favourite. <laughs> oh, he's so angry. Let's try again. Maybe he's got a lot to be angry about. Ah, oh, there you go. Yum, 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 yum. That wombat is freaking hilarious. That's it. Look at that. I mean, look at him just going for it. Yum. Ah. It's when they're little baby wombatlets. They're mm. super cute and they follow you around like a puppy and they're really adorable, but then they hit puberty and they begin to question life itself and they get angry. Mm. Oh, he's red. Oh, yeah. That's an angry wombat. Piss off. Yeah, he's, he's not happy. Oh, Jesus. Mongrel. Piss off. He's got quite a mouth on him. The bloke, I mean, not the wombat. Piss off, you bastard. It's really rare for them to do this. Like, this has to be a pretty aggravated little individual. Normally, when a wombat feels threatened, it will run away and go into its burrow. When wombats attack, eh? Jesus Christ. But they can be aggressive and they do have strong little legs and they are heavy and their primary weapon is the charge. Oh, oh you bastard. Piss off. Oh. It's pretty amazing and this guy's getting it in full. They just run at you and uh, there's a little bit of biting around the ankles that can happen. I didn't realise wombats had such big f***ing teeth, eh? F***ing hey. Oh, he's got a scratch. Yeah. Wombat teeth are pretty cool, which is a phrase I know you never thought that you would look at on social media. <sighs> they actually keep on growing the whole entire life of the wombat, and that's because they use it to grind so much vegetation. They just keep on growing and wearing them down over their whole life. Oh, Don't you dare! Ah, you The best thing to do would probably be to beat a retreat and let the wombat, you know, calm down. Wah! I think this is technically referred to as the zoomies. Whee! Now, wombats are actually pretty quick. Apparently, one's being clocked over 150 metres at 40k an hour. That's really quick. I don't think I'd be able to keep that up. And I think that Usain Bolt, when he did 100 metres, he was like, what, going 38 k's an hour or something like that, so the wombat's faster. Of course, if you really wanted to beat them, all you have to do is run a little bit more than 150 metres because they're really bad at distance running. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. The wombat's like, nah, line up, mate. This is a good scratching spot. <laughs> I think it's pretending that human isn't there. I have it on good authority from wildlife carers that the way to a wombat's heart is through their bum because they really love scratching it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hazel. Oh, that's so cute. Look at its bum. I need to get the clean washing in there. Beauty. Minus wombat. See how solid they are? Any time. <laughs> I think that this wombat is trying to get into a burrow. It doesn't know it's getting into a washing machine. It's essentially trying to hide. They're nocturnal. They'll generally only be out at night. So it looks like it's daytime and it's trying to get in a burrow. It's just the burrow is on spin cycle. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Now, a wombat's bum is sort of like its temple and its protection because underneath the skin, they've actually got four 
bony plates that are sort of melded together to create almost like a shield. And then on top of that, there's sort of a fatty layer. There's skin, really thick skin, and that really beautiful thick fur. And essentially, it's really hard for any animal to pierce that skin or get through to the wombat. Yes, it just puts the bum into the hole, completely blocks it. No one can get in, no one can get out. The wombat is keen. Oh, there's a joey. Hasn't developed the massive booty yet. Well, folks, we still survive. Gee, that really has burnt that bush. In some senses, right, wombats are lucky when it comes to a natural disaster like a bushfire because they have an amazing temperature defence system, which is their burrow system. Mm -hmm. And these systems can be epic. Like they've traced some and they're 90 metres long and have 20 entrances. So there's been studies that look at what uses wombat burrows and they are things like lizards, um, other mammals. There's even wallabies that have gone in there on occasion. Oh. Once you survive a bushfire, this is what you've got to live in. There's not much green for those wombats to eat. So it's a pretty heartbreaking thing to see, even though they're beautiful. <laughs> wombats are amazing, but they're not deadly. You're more likely to fall over in one of their holes than you are to actually be attacked by a wombat. That being said, it has happened, and if a wombat is looking aggressive, starting to charge you, the way to avoid it would be to exit the area or get up high, stand up on top of a picnic table or a chair so that the wombat, you know, basically can go about its business. Hoped you liked that one, and if you did, hit subscribe for more videos. And if you've got a suggestion for an animal that you'd like me to look at for how deadly, why don't you leave your suggestions in the comments below and I'll make sure I read them. I'll catch you next time.